Hello friends. We are starting a new series in English, The Greatest Economist. In this series, we will see the every side of the greatest economist, his thinking, his life, up and downs, and how they achieve the success in his field. As economist, what think about to do, what role to take to solve the problem of these countries. In definition, we see the what is the economist. An economist is an expert who studied the relationship between the society, resources, and its production. So, economics analyze the topics related to the production, distribution, and consumption, and make new theories for nation growth. We firstly discuss about the Adam Smith, who know the father of economics, the Scottish economics and philosopher. He was the first explorer in his field of economics. He is the first economics who deal with the economic problems in systematically. Know more about Adam Smith. He is born in 16 June 1723, in Scotland. His death 17 July 1790 at age 67 in Scotland. His notable work, The Theory of Moral Sentiments is published 1759. Second, most milestone books in history, The Wealth of Nation is published 1776. He worked in field political philosophy, ethics and economics. His notable ideas is classical economics, free market, economic liberalization, division of labor, absolute advantage and invisible hand. His father name was Adam Smith and mother name is Margaret Douglas. Same name of his father, he was the son by the second marriage of his father. Before Adam Smith, pre-classical economics work on with his ideas in those countries like William Petty, time period is 1623 to 1687. He was English economist. Second, John Law, his time period is 1671 to 1729. He was Scottish economics. Next, Richard Contillon. His time period was 1680 to 1734. He was French economist. Next, Sir David Hume. He was time period ruled 1711 to 1776. He was Scottish economics. Next, James Stewart. His time period was 1712 to 1780. He was British economics. In economics theory, the pre-classical period of economic thoughts begins in the early antiquity and runs through the 18th century enlightenment ending before Adam Smith. Pre-classical economics did not get popularity like Adam Smith had what he received. Adam Smith era strongly criticized on the mercantilism and there the uselessness was exposed to the world. Before Adam Smith, two main doctrines work in the world in strongly. Firstly, mercantilism and second, physiocrats. So question is come to what is the mercantilism and physiocrats? and what his doctrine work in strongly in the world. So firstly we discuss mercantilism. The concept of mercantilism is the dominant system of the economic thoughts the prevail in Europe from 16th to 18th century was the mercantilism. It was known for the different name in different countries. Firstly, England was the called the commercial system or mercantile system because it emphasizes the importance of the commerce and free trade. It was also the restrictive system because it the practical policies consisted and numerals restriction and regulation on commerce. In France, it was no other Colbertisms. After the name of the Colbert, he was the finance minister of the Louis XIV. In Germany and Austria, it was the, called the cameralism. It was the, known as the bullionism because of the importance given to the gold and silver. 
mercantilism's thinking did not the form of the group advocating a fixed line of the thoughts and policies they were businessmen merchants administration in different countries they left a number of the pamphlets and paper regarding the economics problem only the later economists have the analyzed their the writing and found the certain ununiformly their the ideas and policies and they have grouped the together as mercantilist so mainly some economic political religious and cultural factor were responsible for this the emergence of the mercantilisms when we see the main ideas of the mercantilisms with wealth focus to the fundamental aim to mercantilism was to make the country strong the strength of the country was found in the wealth of the country especially that the portion of the wealth which consisted of the precious metal like gold and silver secondly mercantilism focused to commerce and industry the mercantilist considered commerce and industry as the most important branches of the national economy they wanted to increase to the national productive efficiency and third population focus to mercantilist encourages large population for the making the nation military strong and for the increasing its production capacity and next natural resources the mercantilist wanted to utilize all the natural resources to the maximum extent so as to the produce more export more and import less and focus also taxation mercantilism favored to the multiple tax system based on the principle of each should pay according to the benefit received from the state mercantilism believed in a role of state regarded as the state as the supreme power for controlling the activities of the people after rule the 150 to 200 years mercantilism declined due to many reasons under the influence of the techniques of adam smith the policy of the plenty began to the replace to the policy of the power the development of the banking reduced to the importance of the bullion and coins further the expansion of the market economy showed that the real estate factories and machinery were more important ideas of the wealth than the gold and silver the economic growth that took the place during the industry revolution made the society to the relay of the competition it was the realized that the wealth of the nation could be increased simultaneously by the efficient utilization of the natural resources and through the process made in the science and technologies second important doctrine ruled in almost 40 years in france physocrates is a collective name this the economic principle and policies which developed in france in the middle of 18th century physocracy is a no as a agriculture system economic thinkers who the contributed to the growth and development of the physocracy have been called as the physocrats the physocrats have been the regarded as the founders of economic science because they were the first to grasp the general principle underlying the economic phenomena and the illol the theoretical systems physocracy is also remarked as the first school of economic thoughts the terms physocracy means the rule of nature the physocracy may be defined as a reaction against the mercantilism and is the concept the physocrats believe that the mercantilism policies instead of doing the good have the done great harm to the nation so they revolt the against the mercantilism policy the influence french school of thinker the early 18th century was led by the cuisney and turgot they believed the extensions of the natural law with the governs with universal their emphasis of the agriculture has on to their the system of thoughts the name agriculture school 
In 1750, France provided a favorable climate for the emergence of the physiocrat's ideas. There were many economic, political, and social factors that were responsible for the rise of physiocracy. Second main reason is tax system of France was corrupt, inefficient, and unjust. Third reason, the finance of the French government was the bad condition working. And fourth, the French farmers were exploited by the noble and landlord in the number of the way. After middle of 18th century, 40 years almost, physiocrats ruled in France. But physiocrats in the general regarded foreign trade is a evil, while the mercantilism believe in their regulation and trade and industry and physiocrats suggests freedom of trade and industry. The biggest defect in physiocrats doctrine is the absence of any reference to all. The physiocrats suggested complete freedom of the trade and industry but absolute freedom of the trade is not advisable. The aim of the physiocrats was the, to develop agriculture. They regarded land as the only source of wealth. After that, the mercantilism and physiocrats, we now started era of Adam Smith. Adam Smith is known for father of economics. We get the ideas about the economic development from the well-known book in inquiry into a nature and the causes of wealth of nature which published 1776 which has the influence the thinking about the economic growth and development. The crucial aspect of the development theory as propounded by Adam Smith firstly division of labor and second capital accumulation. Productivity of labor increased the, through the division of the labor, the two factors that the facilitate the use of more division of the labor are capital accumulation and size of market. First, division of the labor is knowing about a very important contribution by the Adam Smith, the analyze of this factor that bring about the expansion of the output is the division of labor. His treatment of this aspect of the production is classical. He pointed out that there were the natural tendency among the human being to truck, barter and exchange one thing of another. Division of the labor, the very important contribution by the Adam Smith to the analyze of the factor that bring about the expansion of the output is the division of the labor he is the treatment of this aspect of production is a classical so adam smith point out that the degree of the division of the labor is limited by the extent of the market and division of the labor is profitable only if there is a adequate market for the goods produced one of the most significant contribution to the economic by economic Adam Smith was to the introduce to ideas of increased returns causes by the division of the labor. Crucial signification of the increasing returns base of the division of the labor, productivity of the labor rise with the increase in the size of market along with the division of the labor is acceleration of the investment or capital accumulation that they lead to the increase in growth of the output and living standard of people. Second aspect of the accumulation of the capital as the mean of the economic development, Adam Smith gave the important place to the saving and accumulation of the capital. Productivity of the people is low because the capital stock is small. Capital stock is small because the saving of the people are small and saving are the low because of income of the people are small due to their the low productivity. According to Adam Smith, facilitate the greater degree of the division of the labor which causes productivity of the labor to rise. Without capital accumulation, the extent of the division of the labor cannot be increased much. Increase in the capital 
formation lead to the productivity of the different type of specialization equipment which are the operate by the different classes of the worker who are the skill and specialization in the various tasks thus the capital accumulation along with the division of the labor lead to the increase in industrial output and employment adam smith was the believe in natural law adam smith proposed natural law in economic affair he advocated the philosophy of the free and independent action if every individual member of the society is left to the pursue his economic activity he will maximize the output to the best of his ability freedom of action bring out the best of the individual with the increase in society wealth and progress adam smith opposed any government intervention in industry and commerce he was the staunch free trader and advocated the policy of the legislature in economic affair he appointed the natural law as the superior of the law of the state statutory law of the man made law and the never be perfect and beneficial for this the society that is the why adam smith respect the natural laws because the natural is a just a moral nature teach the man the lesson of the morality and honesty this experience favorable effect to the economic progress of society is better than next point is a very important legislative policy adam smith theory is based on the principle of the legislature which require that the state should not impose any restriction on the freedom of an individual the theory of the economic development rests on this the pillar of the saving division of the labor and wide extent of market saving or capital accumulation is the starting point of this theory legislative policy allow to the producers to the produce as much they like earn as a much income in they can the save as the much they like adam smith believed that the save to the live to economy to propelled regulated and controlled by individual hand the force of the competition motivated by the self interest be allowed to the play their the part in the minimizing the values of the saving for the development adam smith given the production function as the recognize three factor of production mainly labor capital and land the function of is working y is equal function of k l n k means stock of capital l is means labor force and n is indicated as the land next point is the agent of growth adam smith has observed that the farmer producer and businessman are the important agents of economic growth it was the free trade enterprises and competition that lead the farmers producer and businessman to expand the market and which in turn the made of the economic development interrelated the development of the agriculture lead to the increase in construction work and the commerce then agriculture surplus arise a result of the economic development the demand for the commercial service and manufactured articles arise this lead to commercial progress and establishment of the manufacturing industry on the other hand there the development lead to the increase in the agriculture production when the farmer are the advanced technologies does the capital accumulation and the economic development take the place due to the emergence of the farmer the producer and businessman next point explain the process of the growth taking the institutional political and natural factor for the granted adam smith started from the assumption that the social group may be called a nation will experience and the certain rate of the economic growth that is accounted for the increase in number and the by saving this the economy grow like the tree this a process is no doubt exposed the disturbance by the external factor that the not economic but in itself the proceed continuously and steadily 
इट इज द स्केरसिटी ऑफ द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज दैट द स्टॉप द ग्रोथ इन इकोनॉमी इन स्टेशनरी स्टेट इन कैरेक्टराइज बाय द अनचेंजेस पॉपुलेशन कॉन्स्टेंट टोटल इनकम सब्सिस्टेंस वेजेस एलिमिनेशन ऑफ द प्रॉफिट इन एक्सेस ऑफ द मिनिमम कॉन्सिस्टेंट ऑफ द रिस्क एंड अबसेंस ऑफ द नेट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन दिस ओपिनियन इन द इकोनॉमी इज द स्टेशनरी स्टेट फाइंड इट्स द हाइस्ट लेवल ऑफ द प्रॉस्पेरिटी कॉन्सिस्टेंस ऑफ द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड इन्वायरमेंटल द कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ द इम्प्लॉयमेंट रिड्यूज द वेजेस टू सब्सिस्टेंस लेवल एंड द कॉम्पिटिशन अमॉन्ग द बिजनेस मैन ब्रिंग द प्रॉफिट एज लॉ एज द पॉसिबल वंस प्रॉफिट फॉल एंड कंटिन्यूज टू डू फॉल इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड डिक्लेन एंड इज दिस द वे द रिजल्ट ऑफ द कैपिटलिस्ट स्टेशनरी स्टेट वेन दिस हैपन कैपिटल एक्मुलेशन स्टॉप एंड पॉपुलेशन बिकम द स्टेशनरी प्रॉफिट आर द मिनिमम वेजेस आर द सब्सिस्टेंस लेवल देर इज अ नो चेंजेस इन द पर कैपिटल इनकम एंड प्रोडक्शन एंड दिस द इकोनॉमी रीच द स्टेट ऑफ स्टेग्नेशन द स्टेशनरी स्टेट इज डल डिक्लेनिंग then life is a hard in stationary state of the different section of this society and miserable in the declining state stationary state is believed in increasing the return based on the increase in the extent of the division of the labor adam smith was uh, optimistic about the economic growth in the future in fact the emphasis the cumulative and the self propelling nature in development process however he also pointed out the there is a limit of this the economic development which ultimately lands a free market economy in the stationary state in which the further capital accumulation to take the place and therefore there is no more growth in economy this happened because of the two reason firstly there is a limited amount of the natural resources are the disposable of the economy and after passing the through the phase of growth a point is reach when they are the fully utilized and do not permit for the growth of the output and second second one is the factor responsible for the occurrence of the stationary state in fall in the profit which reduce the inducement of the invest further profit tend to the fall as the result of the competition among the capitalist investment investors investor this result is a decrease in the demand for more capital accumulations adam smith making this book in inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nation in shortly we know wealth of nation was published in 1776 is a masterly expositions of economic theories senior press smith for the extent the accuracy of his the knowledge and the attractive style of his writing considered wealth of nation as the most important book that has ever been written the book deal with the comprehensively not only the domestic and international economy but also discuss the problem of the human welfare material happiness and ethics wealth of nation consist of this the introduction of the three pages followed by the five books and a short appendix the first two books deal with the theories of population exchange and distribution the third book deal with the economic history of european countries agriculture and the rise of the cities and the towns the fourth book contains our critical analysis of this the physiocrats and mercantilism theories this last book deal with the public finance taxation and the state interference adam smith all that the economics deal with the wealth is explain how people acquire the mass wealth its emphasis and the earning the spending wealth is the wealth or is everything for the man it also deal with the law of production distribution and consumption of the wealth this definition make the wealth is a subject matter of economic it make the economic as the independent subject and science adam smith also discuss absolute cost advantage 
Adam Smith's theory of the absolute cost advantage in international trade was the involved as a strong reaction of the restrictive and protectionist mercantilism view on the international trade. Every country tends to specialization in the production of that the commodity which can the produce most cheaply. The free and unfettered international trade can make the country specialization in the production and the exchange of the such a commodity in the case of which they command some absolute advantage when compared with the other countries. When the country specialization on the basis of the absolute advantage in the cost, they stand to gain through the international trade. Just a trailer does not make his own shoes and shoemaker does not stitch his own suit and the both gain by the exchanging shoes and suit. Labor theory of value is a main concept is given to the Adam Smith his books Wealth of Nation. So according to the labor theory of the value developed by the David Ricardo and refined and modified by the Karl Marx theory. The value of the thing depends on the amount of the labor required to the produce it. The labor theory was employed by the classical economics, example Ricardo and the specially Karl Marx, to the explain the determination of the relative prices on the basis of the quantities of the labor immediate and accumulated embodies in the goods. By the immediate labor is mean the current effort of worker and the accumulated labor is means the service of the capital which presented a past input of the labor. Next point is important given to Adam Smith diamond water paradox. One of the most disconcerting problem of the Adam Smith the father of modern economics was the could not resolve the issue of the valuation in the human preference. He described the problem in wealth of nation by the comparing the high value of the diamond which is unessential to the human life to the low value of water without which humans would die. He determined value in use was a irrationally separation from the value in exchange. Adam Smith diamond water paradox went unsolved until the later economies combined two theories subjective valuation and marginal utility. Adam Smith did not propound by any specific growth theory. His view related to the economic development are the part of general economic principle propound by Adam Smith. In this video, we cover all the related concepts of Adam Smith given in Wealth of Nation. So we see you in next topic, next greatest economics review concept on next part. Give me your feedback in related this topic. So thank you.